Hey guys, I uh, power in here doing a Monica review this time on Gundam Ashray Red Frame Inversion from Gundam Breaker Battle Log. This right here is the inversion or palace op color version of the regular Gundam Ashray Red Frame that you all see in most of Gundam Seed Ashray. Right here. And starting off with the Ashray Red Frame version. I really do like this kit. There's one thing out of the model kits that I do like. Uh, the Ashtray is, is a series, especially when it comes to mech designs, that I just do fall in love with. So you got the whole samurai outfit, the design of it is pretty nice. It's up there next to the regular strike, regular strike, as my, if I were to use mobile suits as base units for my own personal customization, this guy right here is a is a suit I would go with. Now with that out of the way, let's go with everything the Ashtray Red Frame Inversion comes with. And here is everything the Ashtray Red Frame Inversion comes with, folks. As you can see right here, we got its flight unit right here to the left side. Entirety sticker sheet that I did not use all the way. Because I rather paint my model kits. The only thing I used with the sticker sheets were basically the head monitor units, the eyes, some uh, uh, sticker units for the beam rifle, and the... Uh, I forget the I forget the mostly dog unit that they use in Gundam Seed. But I use the stickers for there for the forehead and stuff. But, for when this thing comes up, body, uh, mobile suit right there, as you can see right there, use stickers for that. Hey, don't knock on that. Right there. Also, this thing also comes with four pairs of beam sabers, so if you're somebody starting the starting the Gunpla and you get this, you get four beam sabers off the bat for basically use for almost any of the ways most of the beam sabers use, either for the square slot or the ones we gotta go to the dog head one. Or the circle uh, attach points to the beam savers. Then we have right here. We have the Ashtray Red Frames beam rifle right here. We have its fancy goddamn katana right here. Or the Gaber the Gaber eh, the Gaber Astray right here with current right now it's sheath. And it could be unsheathed. Now, of course, one of the many things about Bandai when it comes to fancy swords. They're just, they're basically just great. They're just basically in great palette, so you gotta paint this. For me, it's fine and dandy. I know how to paint my sword, so this is gonna be a paint job for later. But then again, I'm turning this to a custom unit, so I'm painting this a different color scheme that I painted the original Ashtray Red Frame that I have. Put that slot back in. We have the, uh, the orb sh generic shield of the Strike Ashtrays. It's basically the same thing as the, all the Strike units. Basically, any Gundam Seed. They're in the base unit of Orb and the Alliance use. Uh, then right here we have its backpack right here. Very different. Uh, then we have the backpack right here, which is very different to the L Striker pack that we see. As is mainly meant from Orb for the uh, for the L Strike. Very versatile right there. They move around. The peg point right here. But for somebody who wants to be uh, attachments, uh, able to attach it to other kits that are not just strike units. Uh, the updated versions actually comes with new versions, as right here, you see right here, pack piece right here. Uh, both of them could be attached right here to the backpack. Oh, this one main right here, so if you have basically any model kits that use the, the regular dual peg, you attach the backpack right here. Boom, now it's an attachment point that can attach basically almost any kind of model kit now. Either it has dual peg or the single peg. Oof, that's a little bit stock in there. Oh, that's gonna be bad. That's why I'll figure it. I'll figure out how to take it out in a second. Hopefully, I don't break this. Oh, either way, uh, then back to here. If you want the um, asteroid to be able to fit any other units, it's able to single peg right here, as you can see right here. Single peg right there, which then has the double peg right there. So if you want to attach any other different types of backpacks onto the asteroid. It's gonna be simple as that. Then we have the then it comes with four arm, uh, four hand pieces or manipulators, which are basically the two closing hands or the two just holding hands like the Astro always comes with. There's a uh, put any with weaponry, and then it comes with its two open hands, which let me tell you, not all my kids tend to do this. You usually get the one left-handed ones, but we actually get both hands. So now we can actually go with our hands up high now. Woo! Hands up high. Then we have attachment points for the shield, so you can connect uh, connect a part for the shield right here. To connect the shield, boom. So then it connects to the arm, no problem at all. And then we have this connector port, it actually goes to the backpack over here. This thing right here connects 
which then connects to the shield gun. So if you want to store your weapon, so you want to store the weaponry away for it, you store the rifle right there. Boom! Not right for the store place, which I really do like. I kind of wish other model kids kind of did this. Gives them way more storage for a lot of our suits. A lot of them that don't tend to do this. I'm really glad when they do. Then we have uh, the hand piece attached right here. This little piece right here attaches to the head right here. As you can see previously, it just then connects. Uh, where was it? It's the left one. Yeah. So this one connects right here. You see right here, it connects to the hand. Connected to the hand, connected to the bottom piece of the dog uh, dog uh, head unit beam, double beam lacerettes. I kind of forget the name for this. I'm just going to call it, let's call it the dual beam holder. And if this thing ever goes in, oh, there we go. Fine and dandy. Tired of the struggle with real, because it was. And then now we attach it to the ashtray. And boom. Now it's able to dual wield. Or double wield, or whatever you call what's called double Vader with. Oh, and then actually one of the interesting parts for this, uh, let's actually go with the um, its ar articulation a bit since we're actually on here right now. Okay, folks, now going for the articulation for the Ashtray Red Frame head unit like we always do, it's able to spin around. No problem at all. They would do its 360. Fine and dandy. It's arm. It's actually, oh, actually one of the difference between this uh, and actually something you actually can switch uh, switch out. Is this thing's on a bowl joint, so you actually can swap out. You can actually swap out here as it does have the peg points, so you can actually swap this out between the peg point that holds right here as it is on a bowl joint. So it is on plastic on plastic compared to most of the other poly caps which are plastic to rubber. So they would. Uh, Bend all the way here, spin around, no problem at all. Shoulders are able to spin, simple as that. It's able to bend all the way, pretty nice. As this is more a single bend over here. Arms able to spin around, no problemo. Bend down, oof, a little bit of a taji side. What's it called? It's got a it's got a bit of an apt crunch as you can see right there. No problem at all. It's able to spin. No problemo. Going from that. Leg kicks you can go all the way up, all the way to the back, as it does not have too much of a blockage. You can go all the way out. Pretty nice. Leg can bend all the way. Pretty nice. I should go all the way as it should. Feet, you can go left and right, up and down. Pretty much it. It is on a ball joint, so it can go around as much as it can. Its side skirts are a little flappy ones, so pretty nice. It could they do fall off on occasion, so be careful on the ball joints. But yeah, it's posability and movement, it's pretty nice. Front of the actually way better than it was on the Gundam on the Gundam ground type that I built. At least on torso wise. Oh, and also it's backpack, as I mentioned, as I should mention before, as it is the gimmick for this right here could detach as it is meant to detach. I see right there, it's meant to detach right there, so you can put, put uh, peg point right there, so you can attach whatever backpacks you want or the uh, or the other attachment, so you can add more backpacks. Or if you don't, you can go regular backpack right there. Boom, way better than it is. Then we have its two beam servers, which I forgot to mention. So it comes with dupe beam servers and sticks. Forgot to mention that during the previous part, but better late than never. And the bowl joint right there, as you can see right there, is on a uh, plastic of plastic, unlike previously where it used to be on the stick joint. Well, let's move on to comparisons. And let's do the size comparison. Let's go with uh, the original Ashtray Red Frame that I have right here. I can see right here the different dichotomies between the regular Ashtray Red Frame and the inversion, basically the only difference between both of them is that the inversion has black, while the regular OG is uh, pearly white right there. Pretty nice design. But between the, uh, let's go from the regular Astro inversion to its counterpart, the blue frame. I know. 
This is the original blue frame that Bandai put out with, so it's one of the older models, not the newer, uh, not the newer version of the Astro blue frame. It's actually pretty nice and small design. Let's go from the regular blue frame to the second L blue frame right there, design wise, pretty nice design. The Ash regular Astro red frame is a little bit smaller because it is the base red frame. Going from the regular red frame, we have. My Ashtray No Name, going from at least most of the Ashtrays that I own. And then, last but not least, my favorite, my main personal unit, My Ashtray Igneous. My always there, always down, my always there, my always proud, beautiful, main custom unit. And, you can see the um, size comparison, it's pretty nice. It's average from any regular gun the model kit. And I really do love it. Well, folks, that's everything the Gundam Ashtray Red Frame inversion comes with. Uh, thank you for anybody watching. I hope you liked my video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. And the next build on my list, actually, this time will be a 30-minute missions kit. And that will be on the Esposito uh, B type. So keep a lookout for that video next uh, next week around. And this is Pyro Arden signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.